So, like I said, and something that's really important is that this grade on this quiz does not define whether or not you're going to succeed in this class, okay? It's our very first quiz and it's only five points. So, if you maybe didn't get the score you want, now you know, okay, maybe I need to really focus up in class and not have all these side conversations so that I can actually learn what's going on, right? That might be a good strategy. Um, if you did great, I still want you to copy down all the work so that you have it. Again, these questions may pop up on a test or unit two test. I don't know. I'm just saying it could. So it would be helpful to have those questions written down, right? You may also notice that some of you have a quiz uh, that says B in the bottom right corner and some that say A in the bottom right corner. Uh, everyone took, or people took two different quizzes. So we're going to go over A quiz first. Then we're gonna go over the B quiz. I still want, no matter what quiz you took, I want you to copy down both, okay? It's different questions on each quiz, so having more examples to look at is better than having less examples to look at. I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, so all we're doing is copying down all the correct work, basically. So we're gonna start with quiz A. Give me one sec. Sorry. Wait. It sounds like a midget towards the No. I saw um. So many things. This short has a big mouth. All right. So starting with quiz A, if you have quiz A, definitely pay attention. If you have quiz B, still pay attention and write this down. Uh, here we go. Quiz A, number one, we got seven to the power of zero. As we know, anything to the power of zero is equal to? One. One. Thank you. One. This is one of those things where you're just going to have to memorize it. Math is not really like history. History, you just have to memorize, memorize, memorize. Math, everything kind of, it's a function. It works. So if you learn how it works, you can replicate it, right? With the zero exponent, though, we just got to memorize that anything to the power of zero is equal to one, okay? I've said it about 30,000 times. Hopefully, we got it now. Number two, we got five to the negative sixth power. Anytime we have a base with a negative exponent, our goal is to make that exponent positive, right? In order to do that, we have to turn 5 into a fraction. So we can say that 5 to the negative 6th over 1 is what we got. We're going to flip our numerator and our denominator so that we get 1 over 5 to the negative 6. Now that we've completed our flip, we can make our exponent positive. Bless you. Let me get 1 over 5 to the 6th, which was option C. So if you got a question wrong, I marked the correct answer on your sheet, just so you know. But we're going over it now anyway. Questions so far? What are these for? Awesome. Number three, we got x to the fifth times x to the negative two. Anyone know what rule we're going to use here in number three? Subtraction. Close. Yeah. Kalechi? Product rule. Thank you. I don't know what that is. It's all right. Product rule is just when we're multiplying. So when you see this little dot between the two bases, you know that you're going to use the product rule. Okay? So when we multiply, all we have to do is add our exponents 5 plus negative 2. Make sure you keep that negative on the 2 because it's going to change what we do here. 5 plus negative 2 is just 5 minus 2. Right? When we see a plus next to a minus, we can just write a minus. And that equals x to the third. Number three, we got x to the third, all right? 
Number four, we got 10 over four, or sorry, 10 to the fourth over 10. So a lot of people get A on this one, 10 to the fourth. Can't forget about this 10 down here. What's the exponent on this denominator? One. 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 Good job, Camille. Thank you. One. Good job, Maya. What rule are we going to use? Huh? What rule are we going to use for this one? We just used the Division. product rule. Now we're going to use the... Division. Start with the Q. Quotient. Quotient rule. Thank you. Division, good. Same thing. Quotient rule. You know, you know what you're talking about. I got you. Sorry, yes, sir. So we got 10 to the 4 minus 1. Subtracting down gives us 10 to the 3rd power. Okay, if you added them downward, maybe you got B. I uh, don't know how you would have got C, but that's all right. <laughs> Again, all kinds of things can go into why you got the score you did. So don't blame your math abilities. Sir, right? Sir. I have bad days too. I totally get it. W t-shirt. Two to the second power over two to the negative one over two to the fourth. So now we're putting our product rule and our quotient rule together. So we're going to do our product rule across the top. 2 to the 2 plus negative 1 over 2 to the 4. What's that? Oh, that's all right. So we started with these two separate bases. We used the product rule to combine them into one base by adding the exponents, right? If we're adding a negative, that's really like subtracting, right? So that gives us 2 to the 1 over 2 to the 4. Okay, I'll move it up. Is that better? Folks in the back? Sorry, okay. yes, sir. Gotcha. Thank you. It's all right. All right. Now we're going to use the quotient rule, subtracting downwards 1 minus 4 for the exponent. Oh, yeah. We got two more steps. That gives us 2 to the what power? Negative Thank you, Jordan. Negative three. Oh, Jordan. And now we got to do our flip, right? Put it over one, flip it around, one over two what the? to the third. This is some matrix type stuff. <laughs> so whenever we have a negative exponent, I definitely got make that. it a fraction over one. I never got that answer. Flip. Wait, I right? Good job. Flip the top and the bottom, and then make the exponent positive. That was a lot of work. Also, keep in mind this is multiple choice, so it's it's not probable, but it's statistically possible that someone gets 100% by guessing. That's why on the tests, that's when it really matters because they're not multiple choice. Whoa. It's all right. <laughs> Quiz B's turn. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, so I, like I said at the beginning, whether you took quiz A or B, I want you to write the work for both. What's that supposed to mean? That means that um, you're going to write the work for both. So we wrote quiz A. Now we're going to write quiz B. Okay. So if you took quiz B, great. Now you can see the mistakes that you may have missed. If you took quiz A... Again, please still copy these down. Because if you had quiz A and I take a question from quiz B and put it on the test, you're going to wish you had it in there. So let's start with number one, two to the negative fourth. Yeah. Oh, I thought you had a question. My bad. Two to the negative fourth. Again, whenever we have a negative exponent, put it over one, flip it around. 
and make the exponent positive. Just like that. So put it over 1, flip it, make the exponent positive. And that's our answer, 1 over 2 to the 4. All right, number two, let's stay on uh, stay on task here, please. One, one. Yeah, anything to the zero the power is equal to one. We already mentioned that. Good job, guys. One. Thank you. <laughs> so late. It's all right, it's all right. Don't number three, one. we got x to the sixth over x to the? One. One, one. thank you, Camille, great job, one. You guys had an easy test. And then we're gonna subtract <laughs> we did. downward, right? Keep in mind, although you had different questions, they were the exact same difficulty. Okay? Simplify 10 to the 0, 7 to the 0. If you know it, you know it. If you don't, you don't. That doesn't change the difficulty, right? 5 to the negative 6, 2 to the negative 4. Same process, just different numbers. Number 4 and number 3 are the same, just different number. This is different numbers. Yeah, it's just different numbers, but so you're required to know the same things for both of them. So they're the same. And this gives us x to the fifth. Number four, we got 10 to the negative four times 10 to the two. We're going to use the product rule here. 10 to the negative four plus two. Gives us 10 to the negative 2. And then you look at your answer choices and you go, oh, there is no 10 to the negative 2. So, so my answer it. must not be done, right? Oh, you put a 1 and you flip it and you make it positive? That's right. 1 over 10 oh squared. Put it over 1, flip it, make it positive. Exactly. You got that, Omar? Good. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> And then finally, number five, we got three to the third times three to the negative one over three to the fifth. You take the three, put negative one. So we're going to do product rule on the top. Three to the three plus negative one over three to the fifth. Yep, a plus next to a minus changes to a minus. We get 3 squared over 3 to the fifth. This is a whole lot of work. And then you add it? Yes. Well, because we're dividing our bases, we're not going to add our exponents. We're going to uh, subtract them. Yeah, oh. we're going to subtract them downward. Um, a little bit. 3 to the 2 minus 5 gives us 3 to the negative third. Once again, put it over 1, flip it, flip it. make it positive. Flip it. 1 over 3 to the third. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. No, you got reds, don't you? All right, what questions can I answer about quiz A or quiz B? Yeah. 